I hope you are all okay and that uh, you are uh, preparing for Christmas and uh, we'll see a lot of family and uh, friends have a good time and uh, try to think less on what is happening in the world of course with the Covid situation and uh, there seems to be someone trying to kind of induce power over us to use this sick sickness as a control measure to create uh, certificates, certificates and other stuff to travel and to uh, kind of infuse their domination over us. Well that's a little bit of a conspiracy theory but it's kind of looks like that in a small scale you could say. And uh, there also seems to be a conflict now between uh, the light and the dark. It has kind of escalated. So I see on this uh, UFO movies that there are light orbs flying around. And there is also these dark patches. So there seems to be a lot of different uh, vibrations following how the human race is evolving and how the souls which are incarnated here now what kind of uh, choices to take and how they awaken in this uh, uh, turbulent times where we uh, ascend and where we expand together as a united consciousness because the world is becoming smaller and smaller and uh, the technology is getting more and more advanced and uh, more and more of the secret uh, agendas are being revealed because in the end they to understand that it serves humanity to be united and uh, some of the spiritual and uh, extraterrestrial technologies are very kind of magic like and uh, uh, timeless you can say they operate on different frequencies and the matter doesn't really have any borders to them they just move through it and beyond it so we really don't have anything to do than show love you know the aggressiveness and hate won't do us anything good although of course we have the right to defend ourselves if we are kind of being abused or attacked but I don't think we are I think it's more the human aggression and the human lower frequency which kind of makes the situation on that so the be the more we can kind of work together and love each other the more better it will be hello <laughs> <laughs> FaceTime on the camera. Yeah, he's a he's a good good guy. He's a good guy. Yes, he's teaching me a lot of my about myself. So I do have some good sides and I do have some, you know, bad sides. But you know, who doesn't? And uh, I think I was going to have a channeling, so it's been a long time since we I think maybe we need some good advices or good energies if it can help you have a better day, you know. Maybe I can cheer you up a little bit. Or they can cheer you up a little bit. Yes. I don't hope he eats any wires. Yeah. While I channel. Well, okay, let's see what we can come up with or what we'll contact. You never know. So I have these two crystals here. And I have also this small Bible book from when I was a kid. So there's a lot of beautiful stuff here. Yes. Let's have that also that. So.
Welcome. Has this been some time since we've been here? Guard the angels of light. We're cleansing this one. I'm chasing off the darkness around him. Well, you can see there's been a struggle for dominion over this one. On his talent in giving messages. It's okay. Because he's divine. He is respected on all sides because he don't really take any kind of sides. He is repres representing creation. Therefore, his messages will flow freely to some extent. I am that which you call Raphael, the energies of love, the energies of uplifting, the energies of possibilities, of light. You want to say to you in this time, this discernment, use your discernment when you are facing challenges, information, and people to find your own true definition of these gatherings and the knowledge which they inform you with. You will feel it in your heart when you are dealing with high frequencies you will feel it in your soul if you are on the right path. You will feel it as upliftment. If you feel sad, sorrow or doomed, there will be fear and negative influences around you. But life, you have chosen yourself to come here. You have chosen yourself to be a part of this ascension, you have chosen yourself to be part of the experiments of the physical universe, you have chosen yourself, some of you, to come here to help, to guide, to pull Earth up from the lower frequencies, which there sometimes can be a necessity to happen to learn some things and experience some things for expansion, for your soul to learn, to grow. Unfortunately, sometimes you can run a little bit out of control because you have free will. There are also some who like to play with your bodies and sometimes also with your souls but that we are trying to avoid. So. But we are here to inform you of that and to those which understand what we are talking about you will find a lot of understanding and assimilation in this message. It really complies to your overall frequency. We are sorry for this one's low vocabulary data. We are trying to be as fluently as we can. We just want to say we love you and we love you for being here listening to this one and we hope you can support him because he really wants the best for all. Even if it's just in a small quantity, everything begins, usually in a small quantity. If you see a river system, 
didn't it begin as a small creek somewhere and smaller creeks join together to become a big flood that is also with love and also with positive consciousness it all flows from one point to another and expands into the quantum realm through all points and through all directions to all possibilities and to all experience. A short message, we will be back for more. But if you can give, if you can forgive, if you can let go of something which does not serve you, do it now and do it with love. That's the best message we can give you right now. And if there are people which doesn't serve your purpose, and do not have love intended for you, stay away from them and let them be on their own journey. Thank you very much love from us.